Hello friends, in this video lesson we are going to discuss sensitivity analysis. Friends, for financial analysis we have a number of tools available. These tools can be in the form of break-even analysis or it could be ratio analysis or it could be sensitivity analysis. Friends, sensitivity analysis is also known as what if analysis. First of all, let us see what is a sensitivity analysis and then we shall have a case study to understand this concept properly. So first, what is sensitivity analysis? Friends, sensitivity analysis is a financial tool and this we use to understand as to how an independent variable value will impact value of a particular dependent variable. For example, here we shall see the effect of a change in sale price of a commodity or input cost of a commodity or direct expenses cost of commodity or fixed overhead expenses of a commodity on its profitability. Here sale price, input cost, direct expenses and fixed overheads. These are independent variables and profitability is a dependent variable. And in sensitivity analysis, what we do? We try to understand as to how independent variable value, when that changes, how it impacts value of the dependent variable. In sensitivity analysis, we do not take all these independent variables together. We take these independent variables one by one and then see what is the impact on the profitability of the project. Now we are going to do a case study so that we are able to understand this concept properly. Here in our case study we have sales data, raw material information, other expenses information, cost of sales, gross profit, fixed overhead, net profit, then we have calculated certain ratios also. We have assumed 10,000 as number of units, the selling price is assumed at 40 rupees, raw material again for 10,000 units, the raw material cost per unit is 20 rupees. Other manufacturing expenses have been assumed at 60,000 and then we have calculated cost of sales. So 2 lakh is the cost of raw material, 60,000 is cost of other manufacturing expenses, so total cost of sales 2,60,000. And gross profit is difference between sales price, sales minus cost of sales. So sales are 4 lakh, cost of sale is 260, hence gross profit is 140. Out of gross profit, if we deduct fixed overheads, which we have assumed at 1 lakh, so we get net profit at 40,000. Then we can calculate the gross profit ratio. So gross profit ratio is 140 divided by 4 lakh, 35 percent and net profit ratio 40,000 divided by 4 lakh, that is 10 percent. So this is given information, original information. Now we shall make changes in this information and accordingly try to find out what is the impact? So here same data we have placed here. Now we will change this data. So this is sales instead of rupees 40. Let us reduce the sale price by 5 percent. So when we reduce the sale price by 5 percent, the new sale price shall be 30 rupees, 38 rupees. So let us place that new sale price here as 38 rupees and see the change. Now this gross profit, it has come down from 140 to 120 
and net profit it has come down from 40 to 20,000. And as regards GP ratio, from 35% it comes to 31.58 and net profit ratio it comes from 10% to 5.26%. So here we record that data. So with 5% decline in selling price, GP ratio comes down to 31.58 and net profit ratio comes down to 5.26%. Now let us try 5% increase in raw material cost. So let us keep the sales price at 40 but reduce increase the raw material cost by 5%. When we increase raw material cost by 5%, the new raw material price will be 21 rupees. And here, this is the impact on GP ratio and net profit ratio. So gross profit ratio, gross profit instead of 140, it is 13,000. And net profit instead of 40, it is 30,000. GP ratio from 35% comes down to 35.5 and net profit ratio from 10% to 7.5%. So this also we record here. With 5% increase in raw material cost, the GP ratio is 32.5 and net profit ratio is 7.5. Now let us make both the changes together. Let us reduce the selling price by 5% and increase the raw material price by 5%. So raw material price we have increased to 21 and sales price we have reduced to 38 that is by 5% and this is the new GP ratio and new NP ratio. Now GP has come from 35% to 28.95 and net profit has come down from 10% to 2.63%. So this also we have recorded here with both the changes. Now let us make change in other manufacturing expenses. So let us keep it like that only and let us make change of 10% increase in other manufacturing expenses. So other manufacturing expenses are 60,000. After change of 10% it comes out to 66,000. So let us place here as 66,000 and now the net profit ratio is 8.5% and gross profit ratio is 33.5%. Now let us reduce the selling price by 10%. So let us keep the other manufacturing expenses at its original level but we increase, we reduce sorry the sale price by 10%. So from 40 the sale price comes to 36. Now here we do not have any net profit. So GP ratio has come down from 35% to 27.78 and net profit ratio it is 0. Now here we are able to very easily see the effect of a change in value of independent variable. What is effect on value of dependent variable? And we can also make an assessment of that the most sensitivity or profit is most sensitive to change in sale price. So when sale price is changed by 5%, the net profitability ratio comes down from 10% to 5.26%. And when the sale price is reduced by 10%, then the net profit ratio comes to 0%. So this way we can see the sensitivity of profit by change in value of independent variables. So this tool is used at the time of project appraisal and it is how this can be used. Well friends, I am sure the contents of this video would benefit you. Thank you.